Winning the FIFA World Player of the Year in 1995 completed a remarkable journey for George Weir. I was brought up in the ghetto. Live in the ghetto. You know, we are stereotyped. You know, whether you are good or not, but you know, we get a lot of great people from the ghetto. I'm a great person, you know, I'm from the ghetto. It doesn't matter, this is where I live, yeah, because that was the opportunity given. When I was given the opportunity to leave the ghetto, you know, I proved to be someone great. This was the pitch in Claratown, Monrovia, where perhaps the greatest African player of all time played the football of his childhood. Weir was from a nearby community, but he learned his trade here and made a lasting impression. George Weir came from a Gibraltar. Uh, it's a slum community. Uh, things very difficult. People are in destitute, impoverished uh, community. George Weir is an inspiration to many of the young people in Claratown Do community and across the country. He's a role model. George, for me, the most complete footballer. He was endowed with mesmerizing skills, great pace. One useful boy before compared to say he was a cheater, you know, yes. <laughs> he had everything, everything a footballer me. Clarota. Clarota I mean a lot, you know. That was our starting point, a young survivor. It was kind of a little bit of hustling every day. We had to go there to, to struggle to, to survive. You know, but uh, we, we were doing good things, and, uh, and our team was very great. Okay. We is still the only African to have won the FIFA World Player of the Year title. His rise to stardom took him to Cameroon, where he was spotted by his future mentor, Arsene Wenger, a man he grew to have great respect for. This is the man. I remember it was. George, work hard. You're going to be a great player. And when I came to Europe, you were like a father to me. Every time I goes on the field, you know, I was playing for Arsene Wenger. I wanted him to know that what he have done for me, this is the way I could pay him. So I could break my knee, my, my face, my hand for him just to win a game. He took care of me like his son. You know, and I couldn't believe it. Because when racism was at the peak, Asin taught me that a black man and a white man can live together. I want you to keep this. This is for me, but I want you to keep it because he deserves this more than I do. Thanks, Mr. Coach, for everything. Allora. In France, Weir won the league once and the cup three times. But it was with AC Milan where his career peaked. I enjoy Italy and uh, playing with that team. You know, one of the best teams in my life. You know. With that group, you have to practice well, play well, you have to be consistent to make that team. And they all love me because sometimes, some part in the game, they all look up to me and call me Lion. Lion King, Lion. Give us an African voodoo. And then I laugh, I said, no, I don't have African voodoo, but don't worry, you know, God is there, we're gonna win. You know, we just joke around, but it was a great team. In 2000, Weir was loaned to Chelsea, another prestigious stop on his European tour. There he won the FA Cup. But there was one disappointment in an otherwise perfect career. He was an idol back home, but he was never able to lead Liberia to a World Cup. They came close to qualifying for 2002, but it wasn't to be. I'm very religious, so it's not a regret for me. I would have loved to play in the World Cup. I think it was a, 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 an opportunity for me if I would have gone on the world stage to wear the jerseys of my country in the World Cup. So, after football, he tried to change life in war-torn Liberia, standing for president in 2005 and in 2014 becoming a member of the Senate as leader of the Congress for Democratic Change Party. During that time, my country was bleeding, you know, and, and I thought that a lot of things need to be put in place, you know, to bring about peace and stability in our country, you know, try to join government. I'm happy to be called a footballer than a killer. Some people came, they brought guns, but I brought 
the message of sports, you know, peace and unity, because football unifies people. I've encountered a lot of great people, you know, like Nelson Mandela, good leaders. I listen to them and I see how they do things. And, uh, and I wanted to be uh, uh, that person, you know, for my people. From the muddy pitches of Clara Town to the greatest stadia in Europe, and now back to Liberia. It's been an extraordinary journey for George Weir, but he's not finished yet. I'm happy and I thank God for my life. You know, I was successful in what I did. Everywhere I go, people recognize, they recognize me with respect. Small or big or tall, you know, I want to give you respect because I believe that football is a unifying game. You know, and then we should keep that unity.